Hello. How are you all? Hi. How you doing? I I I am doing what I do. Go shopping. And so I got a haul. It's calligraphy haul. I'm trying to remember where I got them from. But this one I know. I got it from Ross. It's nice. This case is made to hold it. It's um says it's from Soho Studios, whoever they are. But it's a 14 piece calligraphy set. It has six nibs, one calligraphy pen, one ink converter, which means that you can, instead of using cartridges, you can put ink from a bottle. And it has um, six inked cartridges. They have a warning too. It says this product um, contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other part reproductive harm. And they want you to visit www.p65warnings.ca.gov. Hmm, not intended for children under six years old. So I'm guessing there's just another warning so don't don't consume the liquids because the chemical would be in the ink right I got it from Ross it was $12.99 and $6.99 hopefully hopefully they're talking about the ink that's in the chemical I mean the chemical that's in the ink the ink that's in the chemical Alright, so I've been having this around for a while and I thought I had done a video on it, but either I did and deleted it or I was just so happy I was telling my daughter about it and she don't care about it, but she listened like she did. <laughs> she listened to her mama like she cared. Oh, so here are the cartridges. Let's see what colors did we get. Black, 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 black. Yep, they all look black to me. And there are six. Good enough, good enough. But I tell you, like I said, it has to, as it said, six ink cartridges. This is a nice converter. This is a nice pen, but it's plastic. It's plastic like the rest of them. And the one that I got that I paid a whole lot of money for, well, I got about three of those, but the one I, one of them, I can't even get the pen out of the container. And it, um, let's see. I didn't see anywhere where it's saying what the different size nibs are. I'm trying to see if they're different size. It looks like they are a little. I'll tell you what they're looking like. Yeah, because this one is, looks like it's wider than some of these others. Um, I think it'll do a different ones. Yes, because this one. I need to look, it's at an angle. It's not saying that it's left or right handed. But. See, because I'm anal enough that I notice stuff like that. Can you see that it's at an angle? Probably for a right-handed person. But then it could be for a left-handed person. Because <laughs> I'm left-handed. And, it, you know, they say they do stuff for left-handed people. But I'm like, I don't know the difference. Because sometimes I can't use it because I'm so used to doing stuff with the right hand. But these, I know, look like they, with some of the broader ones, that you'll be able to do some gothic um, calligraphy and some of them the points were different on a nib so it, it might allow you to do I just punched that yeah because that was a thinner one than the one I just showed you so you probably can do your copper plate Spencer Chauncey you know just the different ones I didn't always know it's different ones and I've been just collecting pens because I'm not gonna say I draw every day or write but I, I should do better just because I have these kids and so maybe I'll keep this one close to me. 
really what I was doing was writing. <laughs> I was writing my name, doodling. But I, I, it would, would be good if I just take out a little time every day and do a little bit to encourage my learning of the hand of calligraphy. Because I'm kind of good at art type stuff. And I have really good um, penmanship all the same. Because I'm left-handed and usually with left-handed people, it takes white-handed people a long time to show us how to do things. So uh, we just kind of take our time with writing. All right, so this here is another set that I got, and it's on um, creative lettering. Discover the art of beautiful writing. Life is beautiful. It has six stylish projects to create. And it has one set inside. It's called the Creative Deluxe Creative Lettering Set. So it has an instruction book, a calligraphy pen, a water brush pen, waterproof ink pen, tags, cardstock, and envelope plus more. Ooh. Plus more. Okay, let's see. I just told you what it has. Well, but it has more. Instruction book, one art pad, one pencil, one white colored pencil, template sheets, tracing paper, gift tags, one calligraphy cartridge pen, four ink cartridges, cartridges, card stock and envelope. That's one. Three watercolor brush pens, one gold gel pen, one fine tip pen, one fat tip marker. Now this was originally eighteen dollars, and for their price it's twelve ninety nine. So with a price like this, we know it's not Ross because Ross has this tag. So look, it got a little stuff. But um, I've been doing other videos and stuff, so I got <laughs> look, I got stuff on there. So if you see stuff, it could be this glitter. Um, I was doing some rest and stuff, and I was doing some, um, that, um, what do they call it stuff? The glass. Well, I wasn't making stained glass, but I was doing that fusing glass where you put the little pellets. So I got all kinds of stuff going down here. I hope I don't cut myself on those little pellets, though. So I think this was Burlington, because I went to Burlington, and I think I got these other kits, and they were so good. And this is just talking about learn to discover the art of beautiful writing, which they said that's what calligraphy means. And it says learn the elegance and beauty of calligraphy. Transform your favorite chord into a unique piece of art, a truly personalized card, a gift um, for a loved one with hand embellished script. With pages full of lettering styles and decorative flourishes to choose from and trace, you can create professional looking pieces of written art and be inspired to dream up your own unique designs full of handy tips and techniques. This kit makes it easy to add and personal add, add a personal touch to anything you write. So and, and I'm just reading this here because the one me would be saying, Oh, well how does the back look? And oh, what does the back of the packaging say? Because I'm anal like that. But then I know some of you are probably saying, Catherine, could you go on? Could you go on and tell us what's in the kit? Alright, so here are these price tags or tags that people like to use. And I only saw one thing one day where they had that where I said, oh, well, that's cute. They were making those um, junk journals and stuff and they stuck them in a pocket. And I was like, oh, that's cute. But I'm like, at the same time, I don't know if I'm with that. I don't like these tags, even though I love the shop. Okay, that's a cartridge. That's the calligraphy pen. Can you go through it again? How about that? It has the instruction book. Now, technically, I'm supposed to be opening and doing demos on stuff so I can get rid of boxing, but this box is so cute until I'm keeping it. So now you know I can't really show you a lot because of my fear of copyright infringement and the agreement that we all made. <laughs> so this is 10 calligraphy practice pages and graph paper. That one I pointed out, it said one envelope and card. One. I got 50 million more because I shopped at Hobby Lobby <laughs> and got them discounted. And this, 
I'm trying to see if they said we got this. We got the instruction book, the pad, the pencil, well. Art pad, a pencil, white colored pencil, template sheets, tracing paper, calligraphy cartridge pen, four ink cartridges. Where am I? It doesn't even have to present it for four. But I'm sure, I'm sure there's three more somewhere. Three watercolor brush pens. So they're supposed to be that watercolor looking. So don't get upset, cat, when they start looking like that. Because sometimes I look at that and I'm like, why do they look like that? Because they're supposed to be watercolor. Yeah, I'll be wanting bolder and all of that stuff and more defined. Okay, my gold gel pen. A fine tip pen and a fat tip marker. So, this is, um, I'm looking for this in particular because it is one art pad, I guess, but it's, um, it's like a canvas board, canvas, huh? And my other restriction sheet. Oh, and here's some more. Are you seeing these? Okay, no, I don't know what I'm going to do with a lot of these. Except I can trace some of these or come on my scanning machine and let them scan it, let it scan it and trace it and then use it. Alright, so I got these things and they're perfectly fine. I'm trying to find my cartridges. That's what I want to know. Where are my cartridges? Maybe they're inside this pen everything looks like it wasn't bothered but who doesn't know how to put the things back up so they don't look like they're bothered all right well, they're not there and maybe that's why it is $12.99 and we're not going to worry about that anymore but I will probably take these out of these stands when I start to use them. But I can keep them there because it is organized. And when I'm ready to write, I can put it together and write. And then when I'm finished, I can put it back in this container. <coughs> this one is pretty much the same. And I may already have this. I think I already have it. It says it's one set of a deluxe calligraphy set also. And it has an instruction book, cartridge, pen, practice, and ink cartridges, practice pad, and more. This is from Spice Box, and the other one is from Spice Box. It was 18 and it came down to $12.99. Again, I think it was Burlington. And I'm almost starting to have this kit because I have a chancery hand um, letter, or how to create each letter in the chancery hand um, downstairs. It's a good price. This kit includes, I should have left for somebody else, but I wasn't sure if I had it or not, so that's why I got it. One instruction book. Well, let's open it up and see. We don't need to repeat that. Alright, let's see, I like it because, oh, let's see, got that tape. And I should probably tape it down, but I don't want to because of the fact that if I'm traveling somewhere and I want to close this down, I can. Okay, so it comes with an instruction. Well, this is a practice pad. I might use one of these today to play. Calligraphy, the art of beautiful penmanship. Now, you know, I can't show you everything, but that's the author. 
her name is she's a, an award-winning world-class calligrapher of extraordinary talent her name is Diane Fossey okay. so I'm gonna take that off for a second and see if I can find some chancery to show y'all Here we go. I know. You can Google it. And I'm not going to disrespect the copyright. But that, chances are. It's Chauncey. And I think Chauncey, because my first grade student teacher that came in our class, um, Miss Owens, she named her son Chauncey. And now y'all know his whole name. Don't look it up. But these are some look like model labors, La labors, labor <laughs> labels. Okay, here's that tag they like to give, and an envelope. So let's see what they say. An instruction book. We saw cartridge pen. Bam. Four ink cartridges. Look at that. Four. Hmm. Three tubes of gouache. One classic stylus. One bottle of ink. A brush. And we saw the practice pad. Two punch out tags. We saw that. Two bottle tags. Ooh, ooh. Five note cards and envelopes. Oh, here are the cards and there are the envelopes. Hmm. Nice. It's nice. It's a nice set for me. I'm trying to think, should I put this in one of those? But well, wait. But wait. <laughs> I have something else I want to show you. And I've been sitting it around here and letting it take up space. And I'm like, I need to do a video. Why? Because people want to go and get this stuff. And um, I have a show. And so, I'm trying to see if I can get this in the frame. Yeah, I've been looking at it. Okay, this is a calligraphy and pro sketcher deluxe art set. Look at this big baby. I got it from Burlington because it was... Couldn't leave it in the store, y'all. Twelve dollars and ninety-nine cents for this big boy. This is how it looks on the back, and this is how it looks on the front. Now y'all want to stop and run and go get it. It's if I age six and up, but I don't know of a six-year-old that would want this. I mean, they'll open it up and say, "I don't want this. Why you got me this?" Unless they draw. Okay, so it comes with three different pencils included. It's a two-in-one set. It comes with 28 pieces total, three different pencils, and six graphite pencils included. So, six, six ink cartridges. Yeah, it may have been a little damage from, from travel and a little damage at the store. It looked pretty good at the store. This is what they say it comes with. A triangle ruler, an eraser, one graphite sketch pencil. They put S on it, not me. Um, a one calligraphy pen with a two millimeter or point zero eight inch nib, six ink cartridges, green, blue, red, orange, black, black. Then they got two additional nibs, one in one millimeter and one in one point five. Two metallic calligraphy markers, one silver, one gold. Calligraphy book with fifty pages, sketchbook fifty pages, pencil sharpener, eraser. Two hard pastels, one tortilla, tortilla, tortilla blending stick that's like that wax stuff that they have in the, um, kind of like the wax stuff they have in, when you do dyeing Easter eggs. Six graphite sketch pencils. Okay, I'm going to say they don't have different degrees, but they do. I see a HB, look like there's a 2B. Uh, we'll put them on see. Two charcoal pencils. So let's look at it one more time in the box because this is going to be it. I'm going to pull it out the box and I'm going to throw said box away. 
It's been taking up space. In the kitchen, yeah. So, what's falling out the box? It's the calligraphy book and sketchbook. Because, yeah, I went in it. I did. Uh, let me see. Ooh, that was the pencil sharpener that flung across somewhere. And something else that I showed you. <laughs> that was in there. They just flung right out of that plastic. Can't wait to throw this away. But you know, I don't know. But I'm looking at this and I'm like, is there anything I can use this for to put the resin in? Or make a big old giant bar of soap? Hmm. Alright, so whatever fell out besides the post sharpener. I'll tell you, because it's not the eraser, because here's the eraser. I'm going to go and get it out of its rolls. So you know what I was thinking of? Oh, should I take the plastic out of the other ones? I'm just going to add these into these other containers. All right, let's saw the gold and the silver um, gel pens. This isn't as waxy as the other one, so it's more like... Um, the white pencil there. Okay. The calligraphy pen with one nib, two nib, three nibs, cap. Okay. Just so you know, HB two H. H six B four B two B soft and hard. Alright. The two pastels. The other eraser. And six cartridges. Blue, red, green, sepia. I thought it was going to put a sepia. And two blacks. Bam. So... Now you know what they got. I don't have anything really connected to do anything in particular. So what I will do is, hey, let's see how this, if it's working. I hope it is. I don't have to do too much scribbling and scrapping. Uh, okay. And this is me with a little flourish. Oh, I didn't even see that. But bam, that's about how it writes. Nothing overly elegant, but I got a kit. And I'm missing a pencil sharpener because it just flung on the floor somewhere over there that I got to look for. But these are the calligraphy sets I got on the cheap. And it doesn't matter to me because they're going to write. Or I'm going to make them. <laughs> Making them right, and I'm gonna have some fun making them right. So, you know, run to all the places. I go to all kinds of places looking for color pens because I like them and I want to see something unique. But, like I said, one of them I think I already have. I have similar ones, I have a few expensive ones I should have brought in here to introduce you to, but oh, I will get them real quick. Whoa, I got a lot going on over here. So, this is one I got. I can't remember how much I paid, but it was a veteran hot style pen. It's made like a bullet. Now, if you order from that Penn State, they got this equipment, but I bought it from a guy that was selling them at a park here, Oris Park. That's named after this guy that does wood carvings into the trees. This one I got from a guy in Tennessee. 
Um, this one I was telling you about, I paid a lot of money. Look at it, it's all crooked. I paid a lot of money for it, but I can't get it to write. Probably because it's all crooked. And then I got this one. He did, this is basically like a University of Alabama. You know, it doesn't say, but it is because it's red and white. And I'm in Alabama. But it was at that park. They were having a festival. And they do it for this guy. And he has his wood carvings. And he had let another, a whole lot of other artisans come in and set up stuff. So this is um, the stadium. This is um, the field countdown at the, on the football field. And this is a football and I don't know any other place this could be except University of Alabama. <laughs> Roll time. See? Look at, I mean, very well done. Um, what do they call it? Stuff? Resin. Um, I could probably make it because I do resin stuff. And so, um, yeah, I started, I, I was looking to buy a, um, a wood turning machine, a ladder, 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 what do you call them? But anyway, so I could do this. And I was like, girl, stop. I mean, they didn't, they, it's not that they're expensive because they were $200 at Harbor, Trade, Harbor Freight, but they didn't have one. They just had one on display, not one in, in the place. And it's $100. And I got a scanning cut that I'm using, two sewing machines that I'm not using, and crock pots and all that stuff that I'm not using. So I said, can't stop. Don't, don't. And so, anyway, I carry these around. I use this one more than any of them because this one I usually pick out first. But anyway, when I go back to Tennessee, which I did go back, the guy wasn't there. And so I couldn't get him to fix it. Maybe I can get one of these other guys to fix it. But now I see the problem is it's because it's crooked. Probably from hanging out of my purse. But hopefully he'll fix it. Anyway, bye.